Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we finished off the death row facility on the top right, expanded to the left hand side where we had two islands automatically generated and we had some fun looking at these shapes and coming up with strange and interesting suggestions on what those could be. We then went ahead and joined said islands together and then finally said, you know what, let's just put a wall around the outside which is not yet being built. In this episode we do need to crack on and at least get the plot planning for this left hand side done and probably even some building. Now there has been a little bit of confusion regarding this left hand side. I did say originally that this was going to be for low and medium risk prisoners but it was only going to be for transferees. We're not going to be having people coming in on the ferry which are low risk and then going over to here. We can, we have that option but the plan was never to have that. It was always supposed to be a transfer thing which means that the capacity on this island even though it is quite large is actually not going to be that much. I would get estimate probably around 40 that's what I'm aiming for but we'll have to see how we get on so first things first actually over to this security room when we did some extreme testing we found that it was quite problematic and people were always trying to run out here because this is sort of the the um, easiest way for them to get out. So what I'm going to do is obviously place some flooring in because that's just a general admission there and also go over to our walls and doors, fencing, a fence will come along there and probably just go I think down to there and to the edge and that will make sure that no prisoner can come and easily I think they'll be able to do it, but no, they won't be able to easily come around here and just run away. Also, I will go to door and to a standard jail door and put that. Actually, is it a jail door or do I want to use do I want to use the standard? Yeah, I think it is a solitary door, actually. Over back to walls and doors, doors, and then to a solitary door, and we'll place that there. And that will obviously secure this a little bit more. Now this is obviously the ferry uh, dock with the ferry transport, which goes back and forward, and that's where we have people progressing from this side over to here as well. Now let me just double check our deployment and yep that is set to staff only so that is all fine. Um, so what I want to do then is focus on this island. First thing I'm going to do is come up to the top, go to walls, run that wall up to there, remove that section and then do a little bit of altering. Let's have a quick look. It'll be in flooring, landscaping and then sand which I'll just build along to there and obviously we want to water shallow which will go along there as well. Just means that we can have this quite straight like that because these are almost certainly going to be the cell blocks. Now from the edge here I want to measure off at least distance 10 um, probably from there there up to say 12 perhaps where the other wall will go so the internal should be 10 which it is so this is going to be a cell block and we're going to have the same thing on both sides so let's just do that so it will be 10 internal like so and then that will come down and then we'll remove that and this is where we'll have cell blocks on both sides now not, I don't think the cell blocks are going to be this long quite frankly they are far too large for the amount of prisoners that we are wanting although to be fair they are going to be quite big because each cell is going to be I think a 5x5 five because five, we're going to make it quite a decent size there so we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll just guesstimate or we'll go on the principle that we are going to do a 5x5 five five and we'll see how many prisoners we could get in here what I'm also going to do is have it set up so some of these will be 5x5s five five and some of them will be quite smaller um, in fact one side will be 5x5 five five, at least that's the that's the overall goal and we can get there if we just expand that like so and that should be fine. Okay, so that is our 5x5 five five to there and that is pretty good and that will allow us to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 prisoners. It's not very, <laughs> it's not very spacious is it considering the amount of room we've taken up there but we will go from this one again five but we'll have it as five by we could have it five by three or five by four i think five by four would be more realistic and this will be the medium risk prisoners and obviously they are completely sharing the same area but we'll just have some buildings that are accessible only by certain types and certain categories of prisoners so we'll see how we get on there let's double check in the measurement that is correct and we might obviously have to move some things down but that's okay we have the capability and yeah we're gonna have to probably i mean this can come down as far as it really needs to but realistically let's go ahead and say four to there and then four to there and then we'll sort of close that off uh do we want to expand down with this one we could expand further down maybe get a couple more 
I mean, what we'll probably do is just that, just for the sake of neatness. And there's 15. Something like that. That would be 15 to there. Okay. And what about this one? This would also be expanded down. And actually fits in perfectly as well with the right size. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 medium risk and I think 15 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 prisoners in the lower risk category. So that would be the cell blocks either side. Naturally, it is right near the edge, so tunneling could be a problem. And obviously, we don't have a wall around the outside. We could, if we wanted to, actually flip this and put it on this side. And put these on, on, on the uh, internal side and then have the walkway down the back to then come out. That is a possibility and indeed something that now that I keep talking, I'm sort of arguing myself into that. Let me double check something then. This is, is size wise, it is 91 by, it'll be 91 by 6, won't it? Hang on. Uh, 91 by 7. 91 by 7. Okay. If I remove that, let's try this. So remove that and go from there. 91 by 7. Hang on. 91 by 7. Like so. And that would be in there. Like that. Followed by, let me just double check that again, 91 by 7. Yeah, and then we would have that to sort of allow the prisoners to, to leave that side. Problem with that is, yeah, you've got an entrance there and an entrance there. No, not, nothing in the middle. Uh, no, don't like it. No, it would be much more secure. But, at the same time, I don't think it's worth the... I don't think it's worth the overhaul. So let's put that back in. And then just finish the rest of that. Okay. And then naturally we have the 5 by 5s on there, which I'm not going to put back in because there is no point. Okay, that is fine. So that is the cell blocks. Obviously there'll be entranceways all along here. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter exactly where the entrances are. However, I was considering having say an entrance like that is a three by three by four and then have in there where is it right near the bottom two checkpoints going in one there and one there so there's only one way in which is around the bottom here but way out there could be multiple ones there but then obviously we have to do the one way system and that could cause some problems so haven't yet fully decided about that okay and then remove that the problem is that contraband on this island is almost certainly going to be a big problem like up here we'll we will probably won't be able to have an, en an entrance here because we need to make sure that we have at least distance 10 to close that off there so these are your cells Hang on, make it the right size like so yeah, and then we have this bit at the top here, which has obviously got that distance, so stuff can't be thrown in. These ones are distance 12. This one is distance 12. Yeah, that's a nice, comfortable margin. Obviously, all of the walkways, let's go for pathways here. We'll go two all the way along down here. The mayor is wanting a little bit of a chat. Let me just... Oh, we're not going to answer the phone. We're busy. We're doing things. Oh, we can't. Okay. So, we've completed our security review of the visitation process and visitation rooms can now be re-added to your prison if you choose, okay? We do choose, and we choose perhaps poorly, but we are going to place that in and we now have a visitation. Over to our deployment, and we can see that it is still set as the MacSec and then our staff only and that sort of mix there, so that is all functioning, so... Hopefully that is fine. Right, back over to the planning and over to the pathways. Pathways will come down like so across there. 
up here and obviously potentially we could have pathways across now in the center haven't yet decided what that will be quite frankly it, we could have any amount of buildings in there almost certainly there will be a quite large yard because why not in terms of showers we're not having any because those are going to be built in to the to the cells themselves down here then let's see what we can potentially go ahead and do around here i'm going to go to walls and put a wall in there now this being one big building i was very tempted to do and i still am the problem with that is if we went ahead and made that one big building what would that what benefit would that give us i really can't think of a benefit but what i might do is have it's like that. So there's some buildings, there's some buildings, and there's a big building at the back. Now, we do need... Uh, need is probably the wrong word. In fact, it definitely is the wrong word. We would want a couple of workshops. That would be really good to have a couple of workshops. But, I don't know whether we are going to have a couple of workshops. We also need room for visitation. These prisoners will be afforded visitation, as well as common room. We don't have protective custody, but I'm not convinced we need it. I mean, protective custody we could have. Do we really want to bother? Realistically, anyone that comes in, prote protective custody is protective custody. It's just they're in there all the time with other prisoners that are at risk. So having it on the main island is actually the more at risk there than being on this island just because of the nature of the prisoners that we have on this island but do we want to go ahead and overhaul and change it the answer is no i do not um so we need things like a chapel and infirmary visitation as i said all of that sort of thing so what i might do is just go ahead and assume that this entire left hand side from this point will be just buildings for like chapel, library, um, shop, whatever, whatever, whatever. You get the idea. All the way across here, we can do that. That's fine. This is, as I said, a just a temporary plan while we work things out. You have to start somewhere. And that now brings up the question of how do we get people in here? visitor wise how do we do that hmm today's beverage is green tea i was thinking of having another boat dock and have a boat dock pointing down what i'm very tempted to do is have two helipads around here that's something we could probably do two helipads What's the size of a helipad? Six by six, I assume. Um, can't really tell. Maybe seven. Seven by seven. And there. Then you have the walkway in. I'll do that. Have seven by seven there. And then you've got your double pathway going into here, which is your entrance. Does that work out? It does work out. Alright. Let's work on that. Let's work on the, the let's work on the principle of that's going to happen. Now, unlike this area. Do we actually need... Do we need a checkpoint? I think we do. Standard procedure is just put a checkpoint in. The, con the concern with this layout, we've got a lot of, lot of stuff down the bottom here that doesn't really have any use, although this potentially would be a staff room and staff canteen. And I think we've just set that in stone because we do need one and that seems to fit the bill quite nicely. So you come in here, for example, and then we could have maybe the pathway going down like that that's where you have your main entrance there then you have what size is it? i think it's four is it four it is five okay 
So you'll have your metal detectors in here. Then five to there. And then you have your other entrance in. Something like that, anyway. And that'll take you to a security room. Do I really want reception off it like that? I don't think so. Hmm. We'd have to have something along those lines. And have, say, like a door in here. This will be security. Doors in. The door there. Allow you to access these staff room canteen. But then again, I don't know if we need to increase the size of the canteen and the kitchen. Potentially. Okay. This entrance where we'll have to work on. But it's basically going to have a security room in it. Although, we could build it another way, couldn't we? Another helipad there. Prisoners come along. I'll probably make this a walkway. Then you come in to there. This is your security room. And then you go straight up into the main body of the facility. That's a bit better and gives us a little bit more real estate to play with. Okay. It also allows us to have this as visitation. Because they'll come in this way. We'll go through all of the standard stuff and then into here. And we could do that. We could do something like that. That's not too bad, actually. And it is about the right distance for the one-way scanner and then the metal detectors and the doors. That slotted into place quite nicely, so we're going to go on the principle of... We're going to work on that principle. Um, however, I am going to remove that, put it on that side, and have the walkway go along there. Because this will be visitation... And these are all the other rooms that I mentioned. Which I'm hoping one of them we can get a workshop in. There's 12 by... There's two workshops of 12 by 13. Not actually big enough. So we can remove that. And what size are we on? 31. Perfect. 15. Wall. 15. Okay. There is potentially the workshop. Two workshops, in fact. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then... Five, six, seven, eight, nine buildings for whatever we need, plus whatever we can fit in the center. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Rooms. Cells, yes. Holding cell, no. Solitary, uh, no, but we do have space for it. Almost certainly it's just going to be a building that we just slam in the middle of here. Uh, dormitory, no, we're not having them, although that is... Some we could go with. A canteen we don't have, but it's probably going to go around here. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Kitchen, same thing. Shower and yard. Don't have a shower. We do have a potentially big yard. Storage we don't need. Deliveries will technically be around here. Whatever size there might be. Garbage, same thing. I guess we'll have to probably build up the island a little bit around here for... For that, which isn't a big problem at all, we can do that. Workshop, yes. Security, yes. Officers, no. We're not having them. Infirmary and morgue will be one of these buildings. Common room, I did potentially well, I earmark that as a common room, which is fine. But I think we'll end up putting a more centralised building there. Uh, where are we at? Laundry, yes. Visitation, yes. But I think I'm going to shift it. Cleaning cupboard, no. Kennel, no. Armoury, no. Staff room, yes. And the staff canteen. No, not yet. Okay, I need to th I need to move this bottom bit. It's not working out. What else? What else? We have library. Yeah, forestry. No, I know there was a couple of people suggesting we expand one area to one area and then just have a an island of forestry. I actually like that idea. It is a pretty good idea. And in fact, what I was going to do, I did mention previously about this top bit and potentially having a. <clears throat> Excuse me. Potentially having a psych ward bit. Now, I've ruled out the psych ward for this left island simply because it's not within the scope of what we were trying to do. But if we do expand up to the top there for another island, I think we'll have forestry and the psych ward stuff. But that's far in the future and probably something I 
don't think we'll get to. But anyway, uh, never say never. We've got classroom somewhere, yes. Export, no. Chapel, yes. Parole, again, one of these buildings. Reception, don't need, actually, because we're not bringing people in. Mail room, yes. Shop, yes. Padded cells, don't need any of those. And gymnasium, yes, somewhere. Okay, so I know I'm, I know I'm kicking this down the line for future me because future me is he's a sucker. He takes all the jobs the current me doesn't want to deal with. But um, yeah, we want to probably make a visitation, and we want to have visitation, and we want to have a staff room, and we need it around here. I think what we'll do is we'll. Get rid of all this, because this just doesn't... It, it fits in, but it just doesn't entirely work. It doesn't entirely work. So, how about instead, we have the entrance here. So there's an entrance. It is... Probably in need of a little bit of expansion. So, we have our... Is that for only distance 5? It is distance 5. So we can remove that. These, you know, we can always re re uh, redo those. There is our... Hmm, wouldn't fit in. It would have to be a bit bigger. Although we could have the entrance there. That go up. There is your metal detector. Followed by your search checkpoint thing. And then into a security room. And then out. Okay. That's fine. And then you're into the main body of the facility. It also means that if we wanted to, we could have an entrance in there, and this becomes visitation. That works out a bit better, I think. Let's let's work on that. Down here, different story. Standard door there, or down here, it doesn't matter where. And we'll have the canteen and other thing down the bottom. Kitchen and, uh, sorry, canteen and the... Staff room down here. We need somewhere to access this. Do we want to do that? We could do to access the workshop. What I might do is extend this like that. And that's just a very strange size, this one. Do we want to go further with it? There's no reason why we can't. But we'll see. We want a kitchen and canteen. Which will have to go in here somewhere. Hmm. This is giving us problems this side. And also I'm very aware that people come in here as a one way system. For visitors and such, whereas in this one, not so much. They come in here, and you got visitation. But if they were, say, working in one of the rooms around here, then they don't have that facility. Okay, it's going to be more challenging. It's because of the size of it, because we are limited to limited to the, uh, the the form factor of this island, which you know <laughs> is is I guess fine. That's the whole point, but. We are... I am struggling with the concept of trying to fit all of these things in. I think... Hmm... Could be overthinking this one. Let's just work on the principle that... Perhaps we get rid of that... No, that seemed that seemed to work okay, and we have to have it close anywhere because the people that are teaching it actually are over here, the form, and they'll have to actually travel over to there, so they want to be in this sort of staff area. Probably to access one of these, we can just say, well, you just walk through. <laughs> they just have a door there and a door there. We don't need two separate doors. You just walk through one and the other. And actually means we can get away with maybe only two metal detectors there. Perhaps. Haven't yet nailed that one down. So yeah, you come in here. That's all fine. In this area here where we would have the... I don't know, like... 
classroom and chapel all of that requires that requires people to come in from visitation which means the only way in is this way so they're going through the main body of the facility is that a problem no am i going to change it probably same answer because it means having to redo all of this side and go around and yeah okay i think what we're gonna do is like i say kick that problem down the line and we'll build the cell blocks first because we hang on hang on there's been some measurements incorrectly done here aha that one <laughs> caught it right i think that's correct yep that seems to be correct so yeah i think what we'll do we'll not we'll not overthink about it let's let's just get one of these sides done okay foundations more and over to our rusty wall and we're just going to place this side in there you go 21 grand let's just get some building started just for the sake of moving on and you know eventually the idea for the rest of it will will fall into place one hopes large deal door will go on that side same thing up the top there and we may put ones uh, along along here as we see fit in terms of metal detectors, I'm not too bothered about overdoing it, simply because we've already got a lot of metal detectors, well, or we will have anyway, in a lot of the places where they have to go through. And we don't have contraband getting thrown in, so we don't really have to worry too much about that. Although this is a potential area for contraband to be thrown in, so at least we've caught that. So in order to fix that, we would have to expand that. And expand it quite a bit, actually to say about there and then we have got this very large area where we would have to sort of go down okay and let's again just while we're we're, we're working for the building process to complete now that things are ongoing we can once again start thinking about changes to here if this was to change would we have it like that um i could have and this only just occurred to me. Maybe that. Where are all the workers, by the way? I'm guessing they're just... Uh, they're taking that boat? Oh, they're taking that boat to there, then that boat to there, and then they're probably going to walk across that bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, also what I wanted to do is deployment and to assign arm guards and assign arm guards in there, because, well, why wouldn't I? And I wanted to sign a standard guard in there too, and then make that staff only, and that is fine. Right, back over to the planning here. So imagine they sort of came in there, and we had our security room in here. We'd then have to have another walkway. Not too much, too much walkway. Too much walkway. The other option is to do that. That's our security room, and they could even be escorted round here. What I'd probably do is maybe remove those have the entrance way in the bottom no don't like that already going to rule that out that is not very good and yeah it's these maybe these helipads are in the way another option would be to put the helipads remove those completely brick that up and put the helipads inside in like a little say somewhere in the center we would have like a a wire compound with armed guards and towers and the helipads land directly there and then the people come out there that's a bit more interesting yeah that's that's more interesting than going on the outside they land directly in the center okay i'm i'm, I'm liking the idea of that in fact i'm liking it so much so even though it's not overly practical that I think we might go with something like that it means that we don't have to think about well there's a lot of things we don't have to think about we could say have the compound here and yeah 
something like that potentially. Okay. And it means that, yes, the visitors will come in via the helipad that way. And obviously there's all the problems that, you know, that entails. I'm going to speed up to max speed because we're obviously waiting for a lot of this building. Even though we have got this put in. Although they can't use this because I've removed, I've removed the access to it. Oh no, I haven't removed the access. No, I have removed the access. The only way to get to this section is um, through here, and then back over. <laughs> That's the only way we can get to that. Okay, what I'll do is just because we can go to doors, go to a solitary door, place a solitary door there. There's still a solitary door between these areas. I'm going to place one there and one there just so they can have access, ready access to that. I'm not going to place staff doors because otherwise it would be a bit problematic. But there you are. Okay. Back over to building. We can see the foundations are getting placed. In terms of power, something I also didn't factor in, we are oh, okay for that one, but this one, yeah. This one is the only power we could realistically use, but I'm not rooting that power cable under an ocean <laughs> over to this side, so we need more power. So, almost certainly I've figured out what this thing becomes, and that also changes... Good grief, that was quick. There is Benjamin Taylor here, who has just taken out two guards, an armed guard and a standard guard, Unknown reputation, I'm going to guess legendary prisoner and very heavily armed, uh, very deadly, extremely deadly would be the trait. I was going to call in some guards, but you can see we've already got a lot of guards come in and wow, yeah, look at that. They are just, immediately, they just hit someone and that's it. That guy's given up, that one, um, I wish that snipe would actually fire. Nope, the sniper isn't firing, didn't fire at all. Right, so we'll have to go to guard response, get the guards over here, and also free fire on our max sec, because, quite frankly, this guy is going to do more damage than anything else. We need to take them out. There we go. We've now managed to do that. A lot of prisoners have got a set of keys and are trying to escape. You can see prisoner crease here is running down. And I'm guessing they're going to go through here. And there we go. Be able to free fire for that. Wow. Didn't expect something like that. A couple more guards. One armed guard. Another dog handler. And also intelligence informants. Yeah, unknown. And there's another legendary prisoner there. You can go to Supermax. That is the standard procedure, really. Put them any legendary prison goes to Supermax. And I want to activate uh, Dan Welsh. And we'll see if we can have a little chat with them to see what those person's traits are. Almost certainly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Taylor, age 34, prisoner number 21431826. And. Yeah, what a chance. No refunding uh, chance there. Um, sorry, no. <laughs> Estimated chance of reoffending 97%. So I don't think they're going to be paroled. Legendary prisoner, extremely strong, tough, volatile, stalkal, deadly, and fearless, and extremely quick too. So we'll deactivate our our informant there, and naturally we will go ahead and change that prisoner over to a supermax grading. Just having a quick look as well, just to see if we've got any any traits that we should be concerned about for the like ex law enforcement stuff a couple of cop killers but nothing nothing else of note okay that's fine we will crack on and let them do that that was a bit uh, a bit more exciting than planning all of this but you know it's means to an end anyway yes as i was saying i think maybe having this sort of idea of like uh, the the compound inside would probably function okay i'm not entirely convinced it's the right idea but it is the most interesting idea and that normally will uh, trump every other one because quite frankly yeah I'll take interesting over over uh, the predictable one which was there which we've already done you know it's, it's it's in there it's in you know it's in here we've we've got all that set up so I just think it would be a bit different whether or not we go with it you know I might change my mind we'll see um, so we're on about power then. Now, we could potentially have power in here. 
what we do is have two power grids in there. We could fit them in five by five and then have this is a big workshop. We could have the workshops up here. What's the distance between these two? It is 20. So sadly, we're not going to have... It's going to have to be one workshop. And maybe even a second one here. That is a possibility. So let's work on that idea. It also frees up the buildings down the bottom. So it is 10, but we're going to go for 12 and remove that. So that is a workshop there. Then 12. 12 by... Actually, I think that's the ultimate size. 20 by 12, I think, is uh, the ideal size. Access is not going to be via the cell blocks. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, instead, it will be... You, just, you go through probably checkpoints here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit larger this one and do that and have the metal detectors either side with the doors and then obviously the doors will be in there as well and I'm not gonna put the doors in actually because they'll just get confusing so that could be our potentially our workshop area it means that this we don't need that in but we do need an area around the back to access it and that sort of fixes the issue that we had earlier with, you know, people and staff that need access to this, they won't necessarily have it. And now they do. Which means that that could be a security room. Mm. That could be our entrance where there. Like that. And then, there's your security. It's going to be a big security room, but security room nonetheless. And, you come this way for visitation. We've got visitation here, all the other rooms that require visitors going through this, all internal. May even make that a bit larger, but we'll have to alter the island for that. And then it means that in here, you can have your kitchen. And you've got this. Okay. That's better. That means the compound idea is out the window. But I don't think that's a terribly bad thing. Okay. I think we will leave it there. It might not seem that there's been a lot of progress. And in, I guess there hasn't been a big amount of building progress. But... We've come up with the idea from scratch and got all of this planned off for the most part. It's just the entrance where that I'm going to plan between now and the next episode. I'll do that um, between the episodes just to not potentially bore you completely to death. Uh, <laughs> I like to show the entire process, but I think we're treading over all the ground now. So, we'll do that. And may go with the compound idea in the centre, may not, haven't yet fully decided. But regardless of what we do, at least we can crack on with these cells and then get our prisoner capacity raised up to a point where we may even be able to finish cell block D. Although I think with the 125 prisoners we have, uh, with these two, I don't think it's going to work. But we'll see, as always, how we get on with that one. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.